Hello everybody and welcome to this week's episode 13 of the Bad Bookers Wrestling Podcast. My name is Smoothman and once again joined by Jack, Chris and Matt. Say hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. No, I, I feel yeah, like I've had, week, I've had a week off of doing intros and I just nearly messed that up. <laughs> That's piss poor then, Smoothman. Go start. Yay. I'm really tired. Leave me alone. Oh. This half term lark is just so tiring. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I've got a forced week off work. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for the bite. There's nothing. I'm not. I'm not buying this time. Well, no not one's yet. Buying. Not yet. And uh, we're waiting for you to come up and say something fucking stupid. So we, we'll, we'll wait for that one. <laughs> yeah. Disappointed well, by lack of. I'm disappointed by the lack of fisting references. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a swear. He's, he's there, come was, back. there was a swear. Yes, but week, which was but I, inaudible. Which but is I good. swore over the top of it. <laughs> which is a good, which is coincidental. You did a swear. I did a swear. How are we all doing? How are we all? Are we all enjoying our wrestling this week? Um, <laughs> not the start of the week. Tuesday onwards was good. Yeah, Tuesday was alright, wasn't it? Monday just not so much. If I'm fully honest. First time in ages I fell asleep during a raw. A raw. Wow. That must be bad. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you seem to be endure a lot of shit, so fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I agree. I think the end of the week, it was a lot better than the beginning of the week. Because Raw, it's not, it's not hard, Raw is just running out of ideas. So that's no credible here. Uh, running out of ideas. They're so just, just shit. Oh. Rehashing old shit. That's what they're doing. Basically. Yeah. Some, sure, somebody, yeah. somebody has finally let the guys that do the writing have a look at the network pre and like they've gone through and looked at like some 90s and early 2000s segments and now they're going to copy them because that's what's happening. It's just it feels like the shit bits of the attitude era. Is this is this like why you sent me a question on Twitter that says Vince why why Vince? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Pretty much. I think we'll cover your question as we go through tonight's podcast. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I just thought the Strowman, the Strowman stuff was all right because it's Strowman. Um, I don't... Yeah. yeah, it was okay. Uh, I, I, I keep forgetting just how good Strowman is at the old promos. Oh, it's very good. I, really, really good on the mic and really comfortable. As well. In fact, Strowman could say anything and the crowd would lap it up. And like... Yeah, because he's over. I, I watched an episode of Ride Along this week where they did, um, it was the one with Alexa Bliss and Braun Strowman. Yeah. Just on a side note. Yeah, and they literally had to do like a guess. He's like, guess the superstar, and they had to say one word. And someone went over and they went, Braun Strowman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yep, pretty much. All right, yeah. But he's he's very over. Seth Rollins is very over. He had a good day again. Um, apart from being attacked by one of the Singh brothers. Joy. I no, I, was, I didn't like the finish of the match. I can understand why it happened because obviously Jinder attacked him last week. Yeah, but it was to get himself disqualified. It's just and then get no, I'm not liking it. <laughs> I'm not liking it. But no. it shows to I, me that. He doesn't know how to beat Jinder Mahal. Not like well, he clearly knows how to beat Jinder Mahal, but it, it, I think he just it brought out everybody's frustration of, oh, for fuck's sake, it's the fucking Singh brothers again. <laughs> I'm sick of this fucking bullshit. I'm just going to start swinging a chair. And I liked it. <laughs> I, I'd, yeah. I'd have been the same. I don't care who, what character you're playing. At the end of the day, there's got to be that level where you just snap. And they've been on at Seth now for a couple of weeks and he's done what anybody should have done during his WWE title reign, snap and then try and murder one of the Singh brothers with a chair. <laughs> Why, um, to do that. Yeah. Wow, that, that took a very quick turn. What have we been going, four minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Impressive, Matt. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, the Singh, the Singh brother distraction thing is getting boring and at least, like people like the Miz 
find other ways of cheating. Yeah. And, and we'll I mean, be creative with it. I remember where you see Maurice where, like, where she's got some spray out of a bag. Just little, just little things like that to make it mm. different every time where ultimately the goal is the same thing where the other person provides the assist, so to say. <laughs> if you're talking about yeah. business assist. But like, um, but you, you've got to change it up. The same sort of scenes are on the ropes. The ref's gonna go, "Oi, you get off the ropes," and then shit goes south. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much gets pretty much gets out the ring and stands in front of the single <laughs> yeah. that, Go over there. Be, that was it. The whole of last year. Yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. it sort of wormed its way back in, and it shits and annoying. Yeah. yeah, and it's kind of like people might see the Seth attacking Jinder with a chair like a kind of heelish thing to do. No, I wouldn't say it was a heelish thing to do. Yeah, but to get a DQ but out of it. It was a fuck you is what it was, and I'm quite I'm, I'm happy it happened. Oh, yeah. And then he got yeah. spotted by Elias, which I thought that was quite good. Well, that was because yeah. he, he interrupted Elias' segment, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, El- and Elias and wanted to play the, the guitar. Crowd. And hang on, right? <laughs> Lying, didn't you? Jesus Christ. This is the bit about that segment. It's just how stupid Vince thinks he is and knows he is because he's like, oh, ma- no, makes the crowd think we are who are watching it because clearly during the whole thing they're just going, delete, delete, delete yeah. and so Coachman goes, I think they're trying to say sing and then Carl goes, no I think they're trying to say leave and it's like, <laughs> just tell us what's actually happening It's almost as if, of- it's almost if the commentary get bored and just try to troll it yeah. And honestly, if yeah. it's Corey Graves, it wouldn't be surprised if Corey Graves just does trolling for the sake of it. <laughs> I, I love Corey Graves. Yeah, but he can get away with it because, you know, he's actually good at his job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, Mike, whereas, Mike, whereas Michael Cole reads it from a sheet. See, yeah. I don't hate Michael Cole. I don't. I do. There's, there's been worse. He's not Mario Ronaldo. We're not ever going to get Mario Ronaldo weekly. Oh, um, just, just mamma mia! Did, did you, you, guys, you guys saw the video of? Uh, have you guys seen? Uh, he did a um, because he's got bipolar disorder, and then he did that. Uh, he did like some sort of retrospective, sort of short documentary, and it, it showed some of the clips from him commentating on NXT, where he was uh, up and out of his seat, going. Oh, uh, they did it um after the last takeover, yeah. didn't they? Mm, yeah, that's yeah, he's really, really into it. Incredible. NXT suits him right down to the ground. It does, yeah. It's it's, it's just indie darlings. It's underground. It's even though it's not on, it's totally not underground. It's portrayed as underground. It's underground with million dollar production values. Yeah. And with the man with the three H's pulling all the strings and doing a very good job. As always. We will be talking just about NXT. You just, you just have to that. look at the the NXT card. But yeah, we'll talk about it later. Oh yes, we will. Um can we just appreciate how awesome Braun Strowman is at throwing a ladder, by the way? Yes, the man is awesome at it. Christ, he, yeah. You give him an object, he will destroy he will throw it at people and he'll throw it good. No one will never ever forget the chair that he threw the the the, 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 um, the leather chair. <laughs> Roman. The one Roman. Yeah. He absolutely <laughs> fucking caved his head in with it. It was amazing. <laughs> I, I genuinely belly laughed at that one. It's almost as funny as Braun Strowman's train thing where he just runs three people. Oh, well, a lot of people were just Kevin Owens. He didn't yeah. do many of that. Well, he did, he did no, he did it to Balor. He, he took yeah. Balor out the, the, over the barricade. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finn got a good slap in on him, by the way. I just want to point out. Finn got a good old slap on him. But, yeah, but unfortunately, he, 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 he kept the cheeky caught the beard. It was like a cushion. Very good cushion. Yeah. Glorious um, what else was what else happened on Raw? Because Raw was very, very nice. Well, Nia I Jax mean, is what happened on Raw. Uh, just before we get to Nia Jax, <laughs> we've got to mention that that Finn probably would have won that match if KO hadn't interrupted. Finn was True. all over yeah. and yeah. Strowman. He he'd done he'd done one, whatever it's called, his finisher. Coup de gras. Coup de gras. He was setting up for a second one and then Kevin Owens came in and ruined it. I wouldn't like to take a coup de gras. It looks absolutely painful. It, it looks like the worst, the most painful thing ever. He literally jumps from five foot in the air and stamps on your chest. Yeah, but you, you can do it by shifting your weight. So it's very much like the tap shoe on the way down. It's, uh, it, it, yeah. it looks worse than it is. <clears throat> it's because his um, feet go towards, it go away from him. I think it's a bit like the um, it's a bit like the Styles Clash. Um, 
because one little wrong move in the Styles Clash and that's yeah. like game, game over. Yeah. yeah. But all in all, it's quite a. I'm did not going to say just quickly, but... one minor tangent. Did you know? Um, did you guys know how uh, the Styles Clash was actually allowed in WWE? Um, it was. It was all because of Chris Jericho. And this is the reason why Chris Jericho and AJ Styles... They were... I think it, got, it did get banned when he first came in, didn't it? Well, um, Vince McMahon... Vince McMahon had never really seen AJ Styles work because he's Vince McMahon. Why would he? Um, and, you know, just the owner of the company, why would I watch the people that I employ? Um, he, he'd heard that the Styles Clash is a dangerous move, so therefore outright banned it. What, what Vince says, fine, it's banned it. Yeah. Um, and uh, instead... So Y2J and AJ Styles were having their feud. And um, uh, Chris Joker said to, uh, to the booker, or to the agent, I know we're going to do the Styles Clash, but call it something different. Have it as a signature instead of a finisher. And then uh, we'll go from there and we'll talk to Vince afterwards. So th they did the match. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, AJ teased it and then did it. And then the crowd went fucking mental. But obviously, uh, Y2J kicked out of it. Um, and then he did the phenomenal forearm, etc. cetera, and finished the match. Uh, he goes out to the back and goes to Vince, so, what did you think of that move? Oh, I loved it. It was fantastic. <laughs> I loved it. And they went, yeah, that's a Styles Clash. Went, oh, that was it? Oh, well, no, he could do it. He could do it. And that was it. And that, that, was, it. And that, was, that was it. That is a great Vince McMahon impression. That's a lot better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really liked it. Fair enough. But yeah, that, that's, 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 that's true. It's not a dangerous move, but obviously, you they get taught to tuck their neck in, don't they? Well, and the, the top to cut their chin, and ironically, the only person but, who nearly died from it does not have a fucking chin. <laughs> so they're taught to tuck their chin in, but obviously with the stars clash, you have to. Yeah, that's the other way around. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Sorry, okay. as you were, continue. Sorry. No, Jax. Yes, yeah, no. that promo was an absolute idiot. trap. No, you see, see the thing, right? Horse I don't crap. hate the concept of that. I don't hate the concept of the promo, but. What is Nia Jax attempting to achieve? I mean, if, 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 if she attempting to achieve that she can beat a jobber, which is very clear that she can, she's a huge lady with a yeah. lot of strength. And I could beat a jobber though, to be fair. It's the time. It's the timing of it all. It's, it's the, the timing. Bullying situation, and then she goes yeah. out and, and bullies it's a jobber. jobber. Yeah. yeah. It's it it contradicts everything that's been going on yeah. up until that moment since since the start of her face run against against Alexa Bliss. Because that was a heel promo, but but we always oh, yeah. but, I mean we always knew that she wasn't going to be the face um, over Ronda Rousey and and you know it was, it, she would always be the, the healer character. Mm. But, yeah, but she she could have gone cocky rather than I'm a massive lady who's going to bully people but, straight after a bully. I they could have done like trying to do. But it what yeah it may it might be what they tried to do, but it really didn't come across that. It, it came across as she's a massive asshole. And yeah. she likes to knock people around. Yeah, because and... it, it, anyway, it's frustrating because I really like Nia Jax. She's fucking. I mean, but bear in mind, right? She was awful when she got when she got her first call up. Awful, awful is unfair. But she wasn't very good. Um, she made mistakes after mistakes. She nearly killed Charlotte once or twice. And you know, she, and people saying she wasn't ready to get the the, the main roster call up. But over time, she's really, really worked on it, and she's got to a very good standard. And she's a believable champion. I think she's a believable champion, and I like that she's champion. She would but, be if she could do a decent promo, though. But no, see, I, see, see, I don't think she does. I don't think she cuts a bad promo. I don't I've think she does. Really been, I've never really been invested in her character, and after yeah, yeah, I get after that. Raw, I've never after Raw, I'm just like no. Can't no, no, no. I, I get that. But, I can understand but, where she's, look, she's good now. I mean, I mean, you get her look. You, 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 and, and you see her wrestling style, and you go, yeah, she's a big, scary bastard. I get the impression that she should that, that, that she should be champion. That, that's a fair, credible assessment of her. Her, her wrestling yes. work's not terrible anymore. She's not as bad as she was. She she comes across pretty well on the mic. And in theory, if she was a heel, that would have been a bloody, bloody good promo, I think. But she's not a heel. Oh, yeah. any, any other time, it could have been a good promo. Well, but yeah, what, the what they've done, though, is they've basically said verbal bullying is bad, but it's fine to physically abuse someone. Yeah, you can't and bully someone over, over, <laughs> over a long period of time. But what you can do is you can, you know, just for five minutes, kick the crap out of this girl and yeah, talk and, to your opponent about it. Why not? Yeah, it's yeah, it was it was really poor timing, and 
I still don't. I, although this feels like a heelless promo, I predict that Jax will come out of this uh, match at the weekend as champion, and there'll be a face. Not this weekend, obviously, in two weeks or whenever it is. They'll, they'll, they'll shake hands afterwards, won't they? Um, she'll she'll still be a face, air quotes, because she's clearly not a face at the moment. But she was a face when she was against Alexa, and it's just it, all over the place. It why why have her do? a really, really heel promo when she's supposed to be a face and that we all know that it, oh, it's just everything Everything about it was just wrong. Yeah. But it's like the thing I said the other week, though. It's like the, the thing I said the other week where there's no heels or faces anymore. They don't They don't really exist because they just flirt with both all the time or there's people who flirt with both all the time. They, there's no... Uh, are we talking about the concept of the archetypal wrestler being dead now? The UK phase has been dead for years. We've all known that. I mean, we get the odd one or two that try and keep it alive. Shout out to my man, Tommaso Ciampa, for doing that. But, oh, and Velveteen Dream. But we'll go into that in a minute. Again, what a NXT will get into that later. What a so that later. Prince Puma. The X um, anyway. Chris's face. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've got... Um, you know, you, you've got those two who can, who can sort of keep kayfabe on Twitter and maybe IRL, I don't know. But in 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 the world of in the world of WWE, you, you would get your archetypal heel, you get your archetypal face. The only archetypal heel was gender, which is yeah. staggering if you think about it. Um, and that's nothing against gender, but he's the only one who K- comes K- out. Huh? KO, maybe? Nah. No, people him. cheer him. Yeah, I people- cheer him. Oh, well, people cheer for who they hate and whatever the line this is. is the, the only few heels, like the Iconics, no one's cheering them at the moment. Well, no one them them. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jinder, like you said, even though he's got the biggest pop ever. After a second, Roman. Yeah. I'm t- well, I can't, honestly can't think of any other heels. You attack, Roman. you attack Roman, you'll get a pop for life. Honestly, you get Michael Cole, if Michael Cole attacked him, he'd get a pop. Oh, I'd love if, Michael Cole for life. If he get, I don't know, uh, let's, let's, let's just kind of, if fucking Heidenreich came out and attacked him, he'd get a pop. If, I mean, I'm trying to think of really shite wrestlers that got, that got bad. Hurricane. Uh, no, 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 Hurricane was over. You take that over. Hurricane was over, and Shane Helms is a legend of a human being. I mean, I mean I'm just trying to think. I mean, X-Pac, if X-Pac came back and attacked Roman, he'd get a pop. Guaranteed. No question. That's that is how. Right back. <laughs> right Ooh, back. That would be tight. <laughs> yes, he will still get a pop. Yeah, yeah, he probably would. Yeah, he get because he got because Sydney Moore was over. Even though <laughs> the only person to get a chant over, not himself, right back. He invented it, by the way. He invented everything. <laughs> um, yeah, he invented everything. True story. If you ever listen to his podcast. He basically has. He basically takes a claim that literally everything that happens in wrestling is down to him. What a <laughs> fucking cretin! <laughs> what a moron! Come at me, Mr. Ryback, Ryan Reeves. If that isn't, if that is even your real name, I can't even cut promos on so shit. But I'm better than you at it. Oh, <laughs> to be fair, nah. have you ever That's seen Bruno hurts. San Martino and Ram- Ryback in the same room? I mean, mm, same like, person. You know, so they're pretty much, you know. <laughs> no, have you ever seen Simon Miller and Ryback in the same room? Why? Here's why. <laughs> did, you see, did you see Simon Miller, like, nearly cut his head off what? in a match? Simon Miller. No, I've, only, I've, I've, only, seen, I've only seen him doing the running for the, for the rumble that they had on the fight. Yeah, which was good, was, good on I think, he was, I think he was doing a house show taping or something and then spent five hours in A&E because he's got a massive gash on his head. Nice Shout out to Simon head. Miller. Big shiny head. I do like Simon Miller's hair. Yeah, surprisingly, because because at first I wasn't that big a fan of him. It's not nothing against it. I just I just wasn't that sort of enamoured with him because I was I was more like oh the the main four guys. I only mm. really cared about them. But then watch like him, watch him play Fortnite is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that is brilliant. Yeah. You need it to watch right. it. It is brilliant. I'll tell you what, yes. I know I know you like this is America movement. Watch him yeah. and there, there, there's a video of him and someone else, but I don't know the name. Of, forgive me. Reacting to it. Now, Simon oh, Miller's Rock a, Reacts, yeah. yeah I've got Rock subscribed Reacts, to yeah. them on YouTube, yeah. I will do Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're one for this is this is America. It's very, very interesting. You kind of forget just how intelligent the bloke is. Right, let's stop putting him over because Sorry. we are on a reasonable time limit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we then had the Delete of, of Worlds versus Ascension again, 
which didn't really happen that much and I don't really care for. It was a very basic match. Oh Have they God, changed the their finisher? <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Oh my God, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Don't you worry. But oh. that finish is weird. They both do the sister Abigail, but not. Yeah. The I kiss don't like of it. Deletion. I'm I'm starting to come around to I like it. it. I like it. I it like does it. look quite painful no. getting driven face first into the mat. I wouldn't want to take it. Mm. Yeah. Couldn't give a shit. Honestly, I couldn't give a rat's fuck about it anymore. And they also don't. They got our new t-shirt. Two two days, pretty much. After Smoothman got his Mower of Lawns t-shirt, they brought out some new merch. Fuming. <laughs> oh, yeah, he should. Yeah. My, my big problem with Matt and Bray is there's no proper weirdness anymore. They no. just, apart from the way they walk to the ring, and... Well, do wonderful! And, yeah, and Matt throws his arms up every now and again, and Bray leans back in the corner, and then Matt tags himself in. Other than that, they're just a... Tag team. I can't remember um, the last time they did a, an actual promo. They haven't done a promo. They haven't done a proper promo. So they'll do one in the next few weeks because I know that the after the barbecue that we'll talk about in a minute, there was um, a match announced for the next Monday, which is a battle royal for the tag team. Oh, yeah. So I have yeah. a feeling a royal of battle. Um, they will but, have a, a promo at some point against somebody. And fuck the revival, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Would love, would love it. Would love it if they do any sort of correlation to <laughs> Cody Rhodes and his mm. amazing fuck the revival. I just don't. There's still no reason for that. It was just just for the for shits and giggles. Oh yeah, fuck the revival. And then you, and you see FTR signs at fucking Raw and SmackDown. Loved it. <laughs> fucking brilliant. Oh no, at NXT taping and shit. Brilliant. Uh, we then had Sami Zayn's promo, an apology, oh. which is just, again, horse crap. Well, yeah, I, I, just I, love, I, think... I just love how they made him apologise for something that was clearly Vince's idea. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think that it was it was a tongue-in-cheek attempt to go, hey, look, we knew the promo was shit, so we're just going to do, we're going we're gonna to make him apologise. We're going to try and string this out even longer than we need yeah. to. Yeah, but guys, we're getting a match now at Money in the Bank. Yeah. You've seen what, have you guys seen what I wrote? Put him on oh, the I have seen what you wrote on the. Nobody on the... cares. That was my that was my prediction for the match. Nobody cares. Who's, who's digging, by the way? Digging. <laughs> Can you hear me drawing? I'm 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 just. Oh right, I was just like hearing noise. <laughs> <You're true. laughs> sorry, Public announcement. I'm As sorry. You can this see, I, I've got. <laughs> I'm just drawing. I'm just fiddling. So that noise that you heard, everybody, is Jack. He's sat there drawing on some corrugated card because he's bored of us. It's all right. Jack, 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 Jack. I'm sorry. This I'm, raw. I'm sorry to sort of interrupt your drawing, but the podcast. <laughs> we, we are recording this, a podcast this at the moment. Point, just before the Sami Zayn thing, this is the point where I fell asleep. Okay. Once we get on to SmackDown and <laughs> break out the corrugated cars, let's go. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're getting Lashley and Sammy at Money in the Bank. Boring. It's just like guaranteed pre-show match. If it's not, I don't know what yeah, is. If it's not on the pre-show, we riot. Um, no, no. no what what really did much. you write, Chris? You said you were gonna. You said you wrote something. Nobody cares. Is what I wrote. Oh, Nobody exactly. cares. As the, as the winner of that match, nobody cares. I mean, it might change later on to Lashley, because it's going to be Lashley. But I can't really have a prediction as nobody cares. They're going to they're gonna have Lashley squash Sammy to, to punish Sammy. Yeah. <laughs> For his awful promo they were told to do. <laughs> yeah. You mm. cut bad promo, I, I drop you on head. <laughs> because of bad suplex. Mm. <laughs> right, then we, we had... It. Then we had Gable versus McIntyre. I literally didn't write much for this match. I literally wrote McIntyre wins. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> that's it. McIntyre wins. Oh, cool. Cool. Good sign. Good for him. Uh, Rude and KO. Are, are they going to be in the Battle Royale next week? Ziggler and McIntyre. No, I don't think they in that promo, so I'm guessing no. No. Neither, neither of Rolf is a pain, will they? 
Where are the authors of Pain? Are they in exile or something? Are they all getting their issues? They're, they're insanity. In they're not on TV because I read this the other day. They're not on TV and neither are Sanity because they do not have anything creatively for them. Yet we have Bobby Lashley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That... Uh, good question. Did, did the Revival get a job as entrants for the barbecue segment? <laughs> they all Everybody goes to the Revival. Except for the B team. The only like, one that was B -team over. Bay. B team is Bay. I love B team. The only one that came out of that looking any good is Rhino because he just sat down and ate for the entire fucking thing. He ate bologna <laughs> sandwiches. He was brilliant. Literally he just, just sat there. There was a food fight going on. He's just sat there in a chair, ignoring it, just no, eating. It. It's like throwing, throwing sandwiches in the crowd. That, it, it, that, that, that reminds me of um, a creepy, drunk Rhino Santa. If you guys ever saw that, did you guys ever see that on Talking Smack? Yeah. It's I the best so. thing I've ever seen. It's proper creepy. <laughs> it's hysterical at the same time. It's it's like a, it's it's the equivalent of the weird uncle that gets drunk and hits on young people. It was weird. I can't yeah. hitting anyway. on Renee Young, was he? Yes, he was hitting on Renee Young. Oh, from most of it. I need to go see that one. <laughs> <laughs> You've not seen it? Oh, it's brilliant. You have to. Yeah. It, it was <laughs> just literally just the worst. It was hilarious. I actually really liked it because I yeah, liked the B funny. team. Um, because, they're, because they're great. They're, they're, they're the, the, the type of the, of the tag division. When I wrote it down, when I wrote, wrote about it, when I watched it back, I said that it was decent when the B team was speaking, but it just clearly shows how much of a joke the tag division is at the moment. Yeah. But this yeah, shows I mean, it's the really tag awesome. I'm what surprised it's not a food fight for the... the instead, instead of doing this tournament they're doing next week, I'm surprised it's not just a... A food fight with the winner going through. You can imagine, thank like, you very, thank you, Vince Russo. I can, can imagine Curtis Axel chucking a sausage at Heath Slater and him selling it and jumping over the top rope. I quite <laughs> like <it. laughs> Food fight on a pole match. <laughs> I said it a minute ago, but you you were talking oh, about me, so, so I thought I thought I'd wait for the, the opportunity. Moment. <laughs> that was um, brilliant. No, I'm, I'm quite proud of that one. Um, that was very good. I think I didn't. I didn't quite like the fact that the commentary team were laughing for the entire time that uh, Curtis Axel was speaking. I mean, I mean, was, was that was that me who, who noticed that, or am I just being an idiot? No, Michael Cole was giggling like a little girl. Yeah, yeah, I'm oh, sure they were giggling the whole time because they they clearly had some sort of in joke situation with Kurt because Curtis Axel stumbled a little bit over what he was saying. Maybe that might have been just part of what he was doing because obviously the B team and their kind of shit. That's their gimmick. I get that, but. Um, you know, I, I didn't quite like that. I don't think that was quite right. And Titus needs to get rid of that merch he's wearing. We get it. He fell over at GRR. It was a good... This was, it was the perfect the opportunity for him to slip on a sandwich or something. He didn't yeah, do it. And he didn't do it. <laughs> Could have yeah. happened. But no. But yeah, they put Rhino through a table and then that was it. Second he got to eat some bloody sandwiches in the process, so he's fucking happy. That was, <laughs> that was probably his fucking payment for the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think before that, did they have Rude and KO, which was just a... No. Did we not? I don't know. I don't know what Rude, we had. Rude and KO was... I can't remember. Um, that was a match. That was a match, yeah. <laughs> Strowman appeared, power slammed everybody, and then left. Okay. Pretty oh, much yeah. the brunt of it. Yeah. Good fucking time. And then we had the women's gauntlet match where Bailey faced a... Faced it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. There's you know, our host, everybody. Do you, do you remember at the beginning of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, where I said we we're waiting for the moment for Smoother to fuck up? There yeah. we go. <laughs> that is a teacher, us so should know English. <laughs> no, we will. Well, no, 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 that was wrong. No, I no. no we're not going to say that word. No, we'll stop. <laughs> no, but um, apologize. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we had a women's gauntlet match where Bailey started out the match with Liv Morgan, who has just been doing something dirty with a Smurf. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she's got, she's a got a blue tongue. tongue. She's, she's got a blue tongue a blue every tongue. week. She's clearly going out with a Smurf. Yeah, that, that good and, on her. And doing things before the. Before she comes out, yeah, I, I keep re There was a picture of her on Instagram today, and it said, "Oh, happy National Smile Day," and then someone put, "I don't give a crap," 
why is her blue? Why is her tongue blue? And that was one of the comments. I was just like, Bloody <laughs> but yeah, right. it's a bit, it's a bit hard. This this gauntlet match. My problem is, we all knew that it was going to be half an hour long. The exciting thing about the men's one they did before the elimination chamber was they put it on first, and we didn't know whether it was going to go five minutes or two hours. Why yeah. save this for the end for the main event? Because you did it. At half an hour to go, so we knew it was going to be mm. a half hour gauntlet match. The difference. So we knew a couple of people were going to get. No, I counted from bell to bell. It was seventeen minutes. Yeah, which is yeah. The, the, the different the difference between the men's one that they did weeks back and this one was each match had a full YouTube highlight. This was one. That's that shows you the seventeen minutes of. Oh. Stupid, like we had what, like three or three squash matches in there. Yeah. So Liv Morgan got squashed, didn't she? And then yeah. literally one move, a Bailey to Belly. It was all to get Ruby Riot in there quickly, because mm. yeah. I mean, I, it's very clear that they they want to push Ruby Riot, and I think they should. She's really good. I was well, leave, Liv, well, leave Liv and Logan somewhere else. When no one has to see them. Well, well, no, no, because 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 what it does is it gets it gets them uh, it gives them a reason to be a ringside, um, because obviously they've just been defeated, so they can just slowly trudge off to the back, and then all of a sudden they can come and beat up whoever. But um, the the thing with that corner match was that I mean, what it was was a Sashley one, wasn't it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so but Bailey was supposed to be set in this position where she was supposed to come out credible because she went a long distance, but it wasn't long. No, it's like seven or eight minutes, and that's a long distance because she went like she went eight longest. minutes with an yeah. break, so therefore rest holds. Well done, congratulations. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's, it's so. The only person that came out looking strong was Ruby Riot. Yeah, agreed. Her she finish is still lost awesome as well. I I really don't care about anybody in this match anymore. I the, the women's division is just the, from where it was in January where everyone was hyped for the Royal Rumble and there was a few credible different things going on. You had title matches. You had Everyone got excited. You got into Mania and you had the the Charlotte versus Asuka match, which was supposed to be this great, wonderful match. They ruined everything of that straight away in the three or four weeks after it. And now there's not one woman that I give a crap about in the WWE at the moment because they're just all doing something stupid. I kind of agree with you. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the only people that appear credible at the moment are Ember Moon and uh, Ember Moon and yeah, Rousey. Know, Ember Moon, Rousey, Nia, and up until that fucking promo, Bliss to a pro, to, to Lana's a, over. That's about it. La, Lana's yeah. over because of Rusev. Yeah. Simple yeah. as exactly because I mean because I mean they're, they're having Aiden English and Rusev come out to to announce her. So yeah, yeah. and yeah. But they had a fucking dance off. Welcome to the early two thousands again. <laughs> yeah. Should we should we lead into that on SmackDown then and just um, ignore? Is, 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 yeah, because because it was cack. I no, I really worried about this, but the fact that they didn't drag it on. It, it didn't go for two. Yeah, I mean that perfect. it could have gone like, for a lot longer. It? it could have been like the Bobby Bobby sisters promos where it was like what 10, 15 minutes, but it lasted five it, minutes. It could have been like that awful bloody. Backlash segment. Exactly. It great. And it last, was amazing. It lasted yeah. five minutes and it set up a match for next week. So I, I, I feared the worst, but it still wasn't great. <laughs> but it did its job, I guess. But Lana can not. There's, there's a video going around on Square Circle proving that Lana's, that, that dance that Lana did can beat you any wrestler's thing. Apparently, you can do it to undisputed errors. I need to, I need to just do that. Uh, that's, that is like where you can just put this is America to everything. We have a forfeit, ladies and gentlemen. Smoothman is going to do Lana's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <Yeah>. you! <laughs> there you go, Smoothman. Bugger. I don't know why you're laughing, right? You're doing the Omi's dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you got to do the legs and dance on the floor. Yeah, you have to do all the splits. <laughs> oh, Tracy just asked me to show yeah. her it. Oh, I will show her it. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Um, yeah, you'll have to send that to the group as well, because I need to see this. Um, I'm waiting for it now. Yeah. It's so... Oh, it, it's brilliant. 
Mm. Just send it to the Twitter group so we can watch this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, 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 yeah, right. Hang on. But I literally but yeah. wrote, I, I literally wrote, what is this? Beep! For the dance off. Oh I didn't, I didn't. I mean, it, I'm, not, I'm not swearing, it's not happening. It, it was. It's like, like it was really for it, but it didn't affect the show too much. So right. But yeah, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Mm. So, you know, it, it could have been worse. <laughs> right. So I chose to stop giggling at the prospect of swimming from dancing. I'll send it to you now, Tracy. Okay, go on, you get back to your thing. Whatever you're doing. Um, what else happened? So I'm completely lost. Of I, I was. I'm so I, I sorry. Know. Uh, Ty, Ty Dillinger and Nakamura was probably the worst match of the night. Right. Well, apart from, apart from Asuka and Mandy Rose, maybe. Ty Dillinger and Nakamura. The only, I want to say one thing because normally what I do is whinge about the crowd, but the crowd actually, with Ty Dillinger in the ring, still managed to say other numbers than ten, and it was amazing. <laughs> wow! <laughs> At least it gave Ty some um, TV time, and yeah, well, it, was it just puts him up against a, a main event guy, didn't it? Which... Well, there were, yeah, well, because of Ty's fascination with the number ten. And last yeah, match, it, it worked him well with ten count. Yeah. It, 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 it had legs. It wasn't a terrible match, I don't think. It it, no, set, it did what it was set out to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the matches on the night, true. I think it was probably one of the worst too. Um, Asuka and Mandy Rose again. Mandy Rose can do moves. Apparently, apparently she can wrestle more than she, even Rika. What was that? She did some ridiculous move on. Who was she, uh, she up against? Asuka. Asuka. She pulled off some ridiculous, like some uh, some sort of overhead exploded suplex type doodah. Mm. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, the, I noticed the, that, and then there was no the raised leg it. thing that she threw over. The, yeah. Yeah, a little fucking boss. But yeah, well done, Mandy. Good on yeah, you. Yeah, but can we remember she's against Asuka? <laughs> <laughs> she shouldn't be doing those moves against Asuka. Yeah. Um, but the the thing that I took from that though is that she can do more wrestling moves than Nakamura can. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> oh, you triggering bastard. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna bite tonight. I'm looking at three rather angry faces. I'm just not I'm just I'm just following I'm, around. I'm looking I'm looking at a ferret around uh, a kettle at the moment. <laughs> what? I don't want to ask. Oh dear. It, it's, Jack, it's Facebook. Explain. Facebook's a weird place. Yeah. I don't know, it's just, no, it's not fair. It's, it's, I, I, I thought um, you were going to listen when we were talking about SmackDown, Jack. I'm listening, and then Matt started going in on Nakamura again, so I kind of tuned out. <laughs> again, Jack, fuck off. It's becoming a regular occurrence, this, when Matt talks about Nakamura, people get bored. <laughs> so, so, so basically what happens is, when, when Matt says something bad about Nakamura, I get triggered, and then Jack, and Jack switches off. I think, we need, I think we need a warning button. I, I will stop talking about. Noise. I'll stop talking about Eric. It's fine. I'll shut up. <laughs> okay. Uh, Where was I, I, I don't know. We we talked about the new day. Yeah, what the match? Oh, the match was really that good. Was Very good. Loved it. To say I only saw the highlights, I was like, I need to go and watch the whole of this, but then realised Sky haven't put them bloody highlights on yet so i was like oh i'm just gonna have to do with this but that was really an entertaining match, match. I, I, xavier woods looks so good he like all of his the bits that he was in look slick as anything so are they forgive me I, right i'll be honest i didn't watch much of wrestling last week i i haven't apologized by the way for not being here last week so um not sure of it um i i usually i, I don't tend to watch the full shows that often because you know i have children and like life so i'm not able to do that um not to say that people who do don't have lives um Jack. i just got my foot in it there. what are you on about <laughs> you fucking what man no um, <laughs> um so <laughs> fuck. no 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 composure chris we've got it breathe so and with that so um, I usually, sort of a couple of hours before we record the podcast, I'll just watch the highlights just, just to kick myself back up to speed. Now, 
Unfortunately, just before I was going to watch those highlights, my son, my son decided to fall over and cut the back of his head open, had to go to hospital, came back, he's absolutely fine, but obviously concussion risk for the night, so I wasn't able to sort of record the podcast. So I didn't watch those highlights from last week. I just saw the, the turgid crap that happened, the main of the Lashley sisters, etc. And um, so I didn't, so I don't necessarily know what is the situation with New Day and this whole money in the bank thing. Is so it last, one of the they, haven't, they haven't decided yet. They haven't decided. Last week they tried to do a they did a Miss TV section where yeah. Miz was like, "I need to know who this person is going to be. You need to tell me who it's going to be." And then they kept going, "Whoo, whoo!" as they do, and they was like, "It's going to be me." And then they all went through and went, "It's going to be me. It's going to be me. It's going to be me." And I was just like, "Okay." So they didn't actually pick anybody. And then they did the oh. same again this week where they no, all. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to get at. I, who do you guys want it to be? Uh, I want it to be Xavier Woods. I want it's to be Woods. Going, after it's this going week. to be Big E. I don't Art want it to be Kofi. That, that's not I, It's going to be a big... It's going to be Big E for this reason. Uh, last week, he pinned the Miz. This week, Miz pinned him. So he's been but, involved in the fish, finisher twice in a row. No, it's the other way around. I want Big E to yeah, turn week. on Kofi and uh, whatever his name is, beat this shit out of him and say, I want this opportunity for myself and no. the new day no, because I'm no, 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 no. fucking no. bored. I'm fucking bored of pancakes. No, no, I, I agree with pancakes. I agree with pancakes. Yeah, but, but pancakes they're is brilliant three, together. But All as three, a three of them. In the ring together are magic. But it's been like five years that they've been together or whatever it is. And why not? They they still sell merch. They they, they, they still top top, top top sellers. I cannot see Big E being as successful out of the the gimmick as being a heel. The gimmick is old. Like I'm bored. There's there's nothing there anymore that is entertaining to anybody that over the age of about eight. So does Big E not gyrating not do it for you anymore, Matt? Oh Sorry? no! I, I I get weak at the knees when he gyrates. I love a I love a bit of Biggie gyrating. Honestly, right, Biggie on the just give Biggie the mic forever. I I, I yeah, love him on him. a microphone. Uh, but and, a face. Oh yeah! I I, I, I don't think any face. of them could be heels now. No, they they are faces for life. There, I, 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 there's the no such thing as heels and faces. I know. There is. I said that. Um, <laughs> the. The fact that Kofi came in, because when the whole New Day started, it was heel. It was the heel t- um, thing, wasn't it? Well, it, was, it was meant to be a face, then they turned heel. The fact that Kofi was a heel was just bizarre to me. Because Kofi's always been the lovable, likeable, um, Jamaican, then not Jamaican guy, and shit like that. I he love how they referenced that, which was very clever. Is he from Ghana? He's from America. Yeah, but I always <laughs> heard that he's oh from God. Ghana. I, no, his, no, parents, no. his parents are from Ghana. Okay. That's right, this, 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 this point, we need to move on from this because this gets down a road that I don't want it to go. <laughs> are you, are you gonna, no, no. no, we're Chris not. Gonna get, Chris is going to get racist. If they're going to keep the new day together. going to get racist. You're the one who's getting if, from fucking Ghana. <laughs> well, I, I <laughs> thought I was from Ghana. Let, let's just stop talking about countries for a minute. If they're going to keep the new day together, they need some new merch. They need a new idea that isn't pancakes or breakfast bloody bootios or what. Just do something a little bit bloody different. Stop doing the same boring shit they've been doing for five years because it, every single pay-per-view for the last ten, five, whatever it's been, it's just the same shit over and over and over and over again. Okay. Give me something different. Cool. Kofi Kingston was born in Karna. Thank you very much. Arne. Thank Arne. you very much. Thank you very much. Fuck. Pays closed. Um, Pays closed. Moving on. I just like the fact Selena Vega said that Sin Cara was a nobody. End of segment. <laughs> <laughs> we were all thinking it. Someone had to say it. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Fair. To be fair, I didn't even know who it was. I just knew it was a guy in a mask. Oh, yeah, no, to be fair, at first I was like, who in the world's that? <laughs> oh, we're in there. Oh. Yeah, the exactly. And nobody. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass and Samoa Joe match, which Bryson if you watch the highlights, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, if you watch the highlights, 
the promo at the beginning doesn't tell you it's going to be a three-way match. It just says Big Cass is going to be, I want this match uh, instead of you. And so at what point did it turn into a triple threat? The, 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 very, the very first segment of the show, which was the, the promo. Straight after the... Oh, yes. Page cool. said it would be a triple threat. Yeah, so see, Cass... Basically. I didn't see that bit. Because I don't watch the whole show. So time. basically, <laughs> Joe, kicks, Joe comes out puts a ladder up, takes the Money in the Bank title down, says, I'm the best, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Daniel Bryan that, yeah. comes out and says, no, you're not. I'm no, 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 sorry, sorry to interrupt there. Samoa Joe basically ripped on Daniel Bryan's kid, and Daniel Bryan's like, oh, dude, don't yeah. do that. You kid, miss kid and misses, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was, kid, it was kid and misses. Sure. Yeah. Um, Bryan says, no, you don't do that, and I'm going to beat you, I'm going to break your leg. Then Big Cass comes out and says, holding a crutch, obviously, because he's injured, um, comes out, says, "I this match isn't going ahead. I'm going to face Samoa Joe, and it's going to be when I'm fit. By the way, I've been signed off, and then swings his um, crutch. Daniel Bryan ducks underneath it. He hits Samoa Joe with it. He then picks up the Money in the Bank briefcase and hits Daniel Bryan in the head with it, because we all know that he likes to take headshots. Um, no, 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 no. He hit, he hit Joe with it, not not Big Brian. He hit Brian as well. Yeah, he did he? Oh, yeah, he, no he hit Brian, and Brian's hand didn't make it up in time, so he actually hit him in the head with it. What a prick! If you watch it from the reverse <laughs> angle, you can see it That's actually bounce off his head. And then dickhead. straight after that, Paige came out and said she was going to make it a three-way. Hi. Hi, Paige here. I bet Paige loves it in free. We all know it. We all know it. We've all seen it. So, yes, anyway, as we were. Wasn't that too quick? No, it was Xavier Woods. Yeah, this. Yeah, moving on. Let's not get into porn, shall we? Let's not discuss that. Moving swiftly on. I just thought it was good. That during um, a pin, Samoa Joe just picked Daniel Bryan up and then destroyed him. Yes, I was surprised. Samoa Joe was awesome. I thought the only reason why they put Cass in it was to like tap out or take the pin, but for Daniel Bryan to take it, fair enough. Well, it's going to be Big Ass and D Bryan uh, money in the bank, isn't it? That's what it's going to be. Pen. Yeah, I think they're just trying to not put Daniel Bryan in anything that's meaningful at the moment. Which is why they threw him into the ladder in the. Yeah, theory. but I mean, like, I mean, like actually in the match instead of can i know. just add that daniel bryan hasn't signed a contract extension yet for, uh, for wwe when does it go up uh, i don't know it? when it's up but he hasn't signed a contract extension. No, he, ha he hasn't, he hasn't signed a late. contract um they're, they're wwe are really really nervous about putting him in anything involving a title aren't they they're really nervous mm. about it uh, it's not a title it's just because it's a ladder match and can yeah, you but... trust Daniel Bryan not to jump off a ladder head first? Remember, when he won the IC title, he did it by headbutting Dolph Ziggler 400 times. <laughs> exactly. That was one of my favourite ever like. finishes to, to, to an IC ladder match as well. It was just relentless headbutts that weren't protected. Just fuck you, Ziggler, over and over again. <laughs> Literal <laughs> physical burial with his forehead. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, as we were. And that concludes two, uh, 205 uh, SmackDown. Oh, does it? <laughs> I, oh, I must have missed 205 Live. I did watch 205 Live. That's where I was going next. So I don't see any of it, so I, um, wait, I may stay quiet. Um, SmackDown and Raw. Netflix. Yeah. SmackDown and Raw was, was not as eventful. SmackDown was better than Raw, as we already mentioned. Yes. But then we got to 205 Live, and I skipped everything else and went straight for the Cedric Alexander Buddy Murphy match because it was all that was worth watching. Um, I thought this was an amazing match. It was match of the year, which wasn't including Johnny Gargano. Yeah, it Wait, was really? so good. That good? Yeah. yeah, it was very good. Well, I'll watch it and um, I'm going to watch it straight after this. Buddy Murphy, I thought, was going to come out and win it at one point. It was that good. I thought, wow, Buddy Murphy. There was good. a lot of psychological work. There was a lot of... Um, Buddy Murphy was just targeting Cedric's back or, or match. Yeah, there was a lot of, like... Hard Both men looked strong. really strong and it was just incredible. Oh, that flat liner on the apron to Buddy Murphy's head. Yeah. On, like just... on the side of the apron was just, oh, I thought it would be sick. 
and then Cedric wins with that. two spinning kits and if, a lumbar If Johnny kick. Gargano wasn't, um, if it wasn't, we'll get there, Chris. We're we'll getting. Um, you put me off now. Um, I've completely forgot what I was going to say. Something about Cedric Alexander, probably. No, it's gone. Chris has thrown me off. Chris is Chris has put into the chat that we forgot something. Uh, do you want to explain, Chris, what that was? If he unmutes his mic, he can. Yeah, hey, unmute your mic, please. Sorry, uh, I, I muted my mic there for a brief second. I do apologise for interrupting. Um, it's basically we, we, we have a chat section on Google Hangouts where we do our podcast, and I occasionally type little bits um, to go, oh, yeah, we forgot to mention this or this, that, and the other. I wrote in block capitals, we forgot to mention Enzo's consensual penis. And I believe that may have thrown Jack off completely. So <laughs> sorry. Penis, Jack off, etc. Um, <laughs> oh, God. I missed that. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm quite proud of that one. That, well, that wasn't even intentional, which just happened. Wow. Um, so Enzo released a song today. Two idiots like me who don't know what you're talking about. What are you, why are you talking about Enzo's penis? Have you not heard have not Enzo's penis? rapture? No. Why oh, would I? Why? I hate rap music, and I didn't like fucking. He's made a, a rap song. <laughs> is this what this is about? I didn't know yeah. what it was about. And in the song, he goes, he, he holds his middle finger up in the air, grabs his bollocks, and says something about his consensual penis. Oh, um, I'm gonna have to find this. It's um, on YouTube. Oh, I don't think it's on Spotify or anything. Else. Oh, oh, fucking ask. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why did I ask? It's I was glorious. Oh, it, 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 opens, it, it, it opens with like a fat. It, it, it's your typical. Uh, uh, well, how, do you, how, do you, how do you put it? The typical stereotypical wrestling, wrestling. stereotypical wrestling fan, internet wrestling community, IWC fan, IWC style, sitting in his mum's basement or garage or garage if you're a normal person, garage, garage or garage if you're an English person and not therefore a normal person. Um, you're, uh, it goes, oh, I'm, I'm doing my work, and it's just, and, and then Enzo starts, it, it starts okay, I made this really clear, Enzo's yeah. flow at the beginning wasn't too then bad, he, then and he then he just went weird, he's now spread in the middle he, of the He did that really weird, deep voice, and <laughs> like, I don't understand what you're saying, and uh, then he just blurted out the central penis, and it was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to watch it now. I mean, no, check why it out. would he bring up concert like consensual i know the charges were dropped but surely that's a bad thing for him. Well, no 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 it's a he's fight. a moron it's enzo amore what do you expect <laughs> what he's done is he's completely and utterly turned on the only people who ever supported him so good luck good luck in the future mate you absolute fucking cretin <laughs> uh he's gonna launch his rap career and it's bad his crap it's crap absolute cockwomble it's That's a harsh. Consensual cockwomble. Moving on. 205 Live. 205 Live, mm -hmm. I think, was a very, Sorry. very good match with Cedric Alexander and Buddy Murphy. Obviously, you, I think, Jack, you said, oh, it's in Cedric's hometown, he's going to lose. Um, yeah, that's but he the didn't. Role, normally. But he didn't. He won it. Uh, Buddy Murphy, I think it's the first time I've seen him in a match for a long time, and I thought it was very good. Uh, Every match he's had in 205 Live has been great. It was just a mixture of high flying, deadly strikes, big, big dangerous looking spots, which probably weren't that dangerous, but they looked it. And then Cedric wins with two spinning kicks. I don't know. What Cedric's selling in was incredible, or all, or uh, all match. Both, like I said, both men looked really strong. And if it wasn't for Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, it would be up there as a match of a year contender. Yeah, it was very good. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Uh, NXT. Before we go on to NXT, I okay. did say, I remember when I got annoyed that this wasn't going to be on Money in the Bank and that I thought that the Cruiserweights weren't going to be on the pay-per-views anymore. Mm. During this match, I realised that if they were on the pay-per-view, they wouldn't get this amount of time. They would Because no. the match went about half hour. It was, pretty much, yeah, hour. It was pretty much half hour. They wouldn't show. get that on a pay-per-view. So I've changed my mind on that, I think. It's good to have it on 205 Live. But and if you don't watch it, then you miss out. Exactly. So, um, NXT then. Uh, we've been given Gargano versus Champa in a street fight. Um, he then, Gargano decided to interrupt EC3's <laughs> match 
to go and take a contract which was given to them and they weren't supposed to be in the building. He's then walked up straight to the announce table and went, I've just signed the contract, here you go, and then walked off. And then EC3 yeah. continued his match. EC3's went, just looking at him like, do you fucking mind? <laughs> yeah, I'm in the top 1%, did you not know that? I'm better than everybody, why are you interrupting my match? Um, this this street fight, they better do something other than fucking rub some metal in somebody's face as well. And yeah, they need anyway. a proper street fight. I don't want any of this fucking, oh, it's got to be a street fight so that they can do this, that, and the other. No, fucking do something violent or I don't care anymore. Candice is going to get involved and Candice is going to die. Uh, Tabasso Champa, a new one. I'm talking about die. Tabasso Champa is going to go all. I, if Candice doesn't pile drive Buddy Champa, then I'm not in this anymore. Honestly, I think the they, top probably, right. they think that I think they probably would suggest that at some point that Candice pile drives Tommaso Champa. I think yeah. everyone wants to see that. Yeah, that'd be great. Everyone knows Candice can do it because she's done it in bloody Indies. Yeah. So, uh, we've also oh, wow. been given uh, Alistair Black versus Lars Sullivan at Takeover. I to. Apparently, I apparently, I he, to. Did, he did. So I think a couple of weeks back, we mentioned that we knew who this title feud was going to be with, and we didn't share it with the podcast audience in case of spoilers. Well, this is exactly what we thought, and it's horrendous. It's not horrendous. It's not. I, I like this how we caught the black mass. Yes. I did like that. And I think they're going to play on that. Like, Lars can't quite hit him with the black mass until... I Well, you, I can't really see him losing. I can't okay. really see him losing to Lars. So, they'll leave him until, t- until takeover. Mm. Yeah. Uh, War Raiders had a squash match. They, just, they, they, they just just destroyed them. They faced all, they faced all the, tag, the actual tag teams far too early. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they they were really cocky in the match as well. They were, like, throwing the whoever they'd been knocking around for five minutes into his own corner so that he could tag, yeah. so that they could then hit the other guy as well. Mm. And they they came out of it looking like badasses, but like you say, they they faced all the decent tag teams down there. Yep. Yeah. Except for a couple of lads with some gold belts at the moment. That's true. Boom. We, then, we then had the uh, Don't Care About Bel Air segment. She's really good, but I, 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 like I, I was her. watching it. I was I watching it like, like do I care? Like, I don't I, care how you did in college. I skipped the entire <laughs> fucking thing. I hate her. I really don't like her character. I hate the fact that she whips people with her hair. I just think she's... Isn't that bad. the sign of a good heel? I just hate... No, I just hate her character. I just hate her... She can't really wrestle Does it that bring well. Bring up some 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 bad memories about you being whipped. Or is, no, is I just oh don't like God. her. Repressed <laughs> memory. <laughs> I just don't. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you can't have a finisher of whipping somebody with your hair. Why not? Fucking what, hurts. Have you heard the connection? <laughs> yeah, but what is this? Are we back it's, in the it's, attitude it's era? You're watching wrestling going, what is this? <laughs> Suspension of disbelief, <laughs> Mr. Smooth Hand. Shh, don't call me Smooth Hand. That's not my name. Wait <laughs> till you fight me. All right, then, Mr. <laughs> Take Things. Uh, and then we had Rick... All right, let's move on from the bell air bit. Uh, Ricochet versus Chris <laughs> Dijak. Yes! Um, six, with... Right, I'm six foot six. Like, I'm tall. This guy's six for eight, and he's doing bloody springboard elbow drops off the top rope. <laughs> and a moonsault where he literally moon knocked salt. himself yeah. out. Yeah. It was a liter style, <laughs> I've nearly broken my neck moonsault. Yeah, yes. it was, yeah. <laughs> it was like... And the then Ricochet, was the Ricochet, Ricochet deadlifted him like it was nothing. Oh, it was amazing. Though. That is incredible, though. Yeah. Ricochet... But the man's, got, the man's got level levels of strength. He's and he's 630. looks awesome. I I'm, I'm getting convinced. I'm slowly getting convinced that Ricochet is the one. Genuinely, he is the one. He is the, the one and only. To be no, no, no. I know, <laughs> but he is like the one for wrestling. He will be the guy who holds the company up for. Don't tell Jim Cornette that. <laughs> no, or oh, Vader. Vader no. Don't tell Vader because then he might call him out for a match, <laughs> like he did with Will Ospreay. 
Well, I literally, I literally watched this Ricochet match. And I was going to say something really, really harsh about Big Daddy Vader thing, but I decided against yeah. it at that moment. I um, want. Uh, he was, good, he, was, he was a good. He was a good wrestler. He did his job. It's just he's a bit outspoken nowadays, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watched and this, and then I want, and then I had to go and watch Ricochet versus Will Ospreay in New Japan. After watching Ricochet do that ridiculous yeah. flip outside of the ring, it, it, it wasn't even the flip itself. It was the swaggy as fuck. Just, 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 just walk from it. Continuous walk straight away, like it was one fluid motion. And Velveteen Dream was just awesome all the way through. Velveteen Dream's face was just... It's, it was literally my face as I was watching it. I literally mm. pulled the same face. With, his, with his stupid double glasses on. <laughs> he has <laughs> no fashion sense whatsoever, but he pulls it off. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. It's because he's Prince, and Prince is where the most elaborate shit in the world that made no fucking sense, but he made it look cool. Can he is very do you, any of you follow Velvet Team Dream on Twitter? Please. I tell saw me. what I saw what you read. It's amazing. It's amazing. He has changed his avatar or his yeah, his avatar to Prince Puma logo thing mask and has changed the, the banner of his Twitter from if he can, if he is the king I can be prince or whatever it is some words to those effects. If he, he calls himself the king, then I can be the prince. Yeah, that's the because of king, I can be the prince, which is a rip of the Lucha Underground name that he used when he worked there. That is fucking boss, and I love it. I hope he comes out with it at Takeover as well. He'll come out with a mask. Definitely, he'll definitely come out with a mask, or, or in like an. He, he, when he faced Cassius Ono a few takeovers, he came out in bloody boxing gear. The man could do anything. Oh yes, and, oh yes, and he had the, uh, the the mouth guard on a pillow. Brilliant, yeah. mm. genius. Uh, did you see John Cena said this week that Velveteen Dream could be? I did see a report. One. I haven't watched the video. I haven't seen. No, I just saw it on Twitter that yeah, it said yeah. John Cena thinks Velveteen can be the one to be the big guy in WWE in the future. Which I think. Very, I mean, I'd love that, but I don't think I don't think a gimmick can hold that. A gimmick can be the one. I don't think John Cena was a gimmick. No, it was either you hated him or you loved him, wasn't it? Well, no, no, that's that's not a gimmick. It's a, um, you know, he he was he was himself turned up to eleven. The Stone Cold thing, yeah, the Stone Cold element. Um, mm. um it just well, Velveteen up. Dream is just Prince turned up to eleven. Yeah, yeah. it's brilliant. I I, I it's enjoy very it. good. I would I love it, love for him to be like the main guy. Uh, but he oh, need. Yeah. I I think he's he's not far away from a proper NXT title run. I think he needs. Think. The big one. I think he needs the big one, but I don't think he'll get. It. I think he'll get the North American. No, I can't. See, I can't see Adam Cole dropping that anytime soon. True. I think the next team money in the bank. But we are seeing yeah. Ricochet versus Velveteen Dream at Takeover as well. And the NXT Takeover card's just like unfairly good. It's <laughs> fucking stacked, is what it is. It's the WWE just... money in the bank is going to need some. It's, it's got two hope. money in the bank matches. NXT's like three times as good, and it's got too many in the bank matches on the main card. And it's in Chicago. It's just, it's just unfair. It's just and unfair. it's in Chicago, which is the hotbed of fucking noisy crowds. Which I, I love an atmosphere of wrestling match and a wrestling event. So can you imagine how hot the crowd's going to be for Ricochet Dream and for Gargano Champa? Yes, and for Roman Reigns. <laughs> I can't wait for Roman Jinder to main event. Uh, <laughs> I, I, really want to, I really want to see it just just for the crowd to like start fighting. <laughs> just, just get up and leave. <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> last thing on NXT was Nikki Cross being an absolute nutcase. Love it. Um, Dakota Kai was supposed to face Baszler. I didn't know it was for a championship match until I started. Until they like yeah, did the. Enough. The light thing. Um, Dakota Kai got destroyed in the first part of the match by Baszler. She destroyed her ankle and then just tried to literally snap it off. Um, but then Kai came back, but then Nikki Cross came to help after um, Baszler won, I believe. I think Baszler won and then started attacking her. Yeah. Baszler made her tap out in that Kokina clutch thing that she has. And then she put it on again after the match was finished. Yeah, and then Nikki comes out and then steals her title and then asks Baszler to come and get it when she gets it back in the ring. It's just the way she... she Baszler was walking off. Nikki Cross just runs up to her, finesses the title off her, runs back to the ring, 
I was like, come and get it then. <laughs> she's like, why are you so crazy? And why are you so good? And then when she tried <laughs> to get the title, she just pulled it away and then just went, me and you for a match right now. And then Dakota Kai, you're going to be the referee. <laughs> what? Oh, no, okay. No. Love and it. then she genuinely thinks it's a match and then wins and then just runs off with the title. And CM Punk's it runs into the crowd with the title. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> going crazy. I believe we're going to see Shayna versus Nikki at TakeOver. Yeah, I, I don't it's think be... it's been announced yet, but that's the obvious I, one to I, have. I was going to say, I can't see it as being anything else. Yeah. I'd, love, I'd love Nikki Cross to win it, but I can't see Baza dropping it so quickly. No, I don't. I think you can't... I can't. Ha- I can't. You can't see... Baser being so strong yeah. in all of the matches to then not win it. The, the last it's just eight a weeks, really go on, Matt. the last eight weeks has just kind of flipped everything on, on its head. I don't know if you remember, but before or just after Mania when they had the superstar shake up thing, and I was saying Ember Moon probably shouldn't have been called up because she was losing to Asuka. Asuka's lost a streak and all this. Ember Moon's now the only decent woman on the main roster. I hated Shayna Baszler back then, but she's coming across as a proper badass. And yeah. this Nikki Cross, who I've not seen much of before, is fucking oh, really? weird, and it's fucking amazing. Oh, you've not seen much? Of course, you haven't seen much of Nikki Cross, I, have you? Yeah, I, I no, didn't she, really she start. And she's fucking and she's Scottish. I did not start Scottish. really watching NXT till just before Mania, so I'd not seen much of it. But yeah, she's weird and amazing, and just they need to get her on. On the main roster, she I know. Was I know part of the fatal, she was part she, of the yeah. four way title match. She was fucking incredible in that. I can't remember which one it was. Um, forgive me, audience, but I'm not that au fait, so to say, with NXT. But she was incredible in there was a four way title match or a number one contenders match or something. Was she? It was a number one contenders match, I think. Was it yeah. between her and the moon? I think Billy K, Billy K might have been in it. Yeah, or Billy K might have been in it. Yeah. it? I'm I really can't remember for sure. Maybe, maybe. But um, I, I mean, I, I I can see if if Nikki Cross gets the uh, gets the um the call up, she'll get the um Becky Lynch treatment. Um, mm. I can't. Yeah, man. Every week I'm going to say, oh no, no, we're we're not we're not going to go back on it because otherwise I'm going to have to go back and talk about SmackDown. So I'm not going to do it this week. But we'll talk about it next week if something happens on SmackDown where Becky Lynch is involved and it puts her down. I'm going to Go on a rant for about 20 minutes. It's Becky oh. Lynch versus Charlotte next week on SmackDown. <laughs> okay, that'll be fun. Um, this, this Shayna versus Nikki Cross is a really interesting concept because you couldn't have two different styles of wrestling, yeah. two mm. different <laughs> styles of people, like one side of the spectrum to the other. Yeah. Deont- it's Deontay Wilder versus AJ, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, well, just, it, it's just, it yeah. is, it's the, the weird and wonderful part of wrestling and somebody who's supposed to be like a proper athlete, it's, yeah. it's going to be really weird. The only thing I think I have seen of Nikki Cross was, did she fight Asuka for the title in either she a ladder in, match or a street last fight? She was, in a, she was in last man standing oh, last match. Man standing match. She was in a triple threat as well with Ruby Riot and Asuka, I think. Yeah. Um, for the title. Yeah, no, it was the last man standing match I've seen. I, I basically went back and watched a bit of Asuka's streak just to try and work out who she was when she was getting up to the main roster because I didn't watch much of it. Um, and I saw that match and that was a really good match. So mm. if she if she can put on matches like that, I'm sure she can put on a good match against well, Basil. Her, her character is a crazy psychic little motherfucker. Uh, yeah. I remember her debut with Sanity where she just... Well, well no, it, it, was, it was just the debut with Sanity where, where there was this little person just literally just scratching and clawing and kicking at someone on the floor. Like, who the fuck is that? And then, and then like, oh, it's, it's, it's Nikki Cross. Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah, she's so really my good. voice has just destroyed itself. Hang on. Okay. Um, I think we there just we need, I think there's only one last thing that I wanted to talk to, talk to you about tonight, and that was they've announced the bracket for the UK Championship Tournament. So we know who could f- effectively face who in the finals if we predict it. I've got, I've got mine predictions. You've got a prediction. I don't think we'll do this as proper predictions where we have no, no. forfeits and stuff. I think it's just, a, just one of those where we just have a have a guess. I don't know if you've been following well, on Travis. Travis has always been into me. Travis. Before you just get into this, I need to go, guys. So um, enjoy the rest of the cast, and I'll see you all later. Hello, Matt. Hello, Matt. Bye. Bye. Um, 
Matt will be back with us next week. Uh, yeah, so back to the UK Championship. So the first round, we know what the matches are. Um, but on one side of the bracket, you've got Zach Gibson, Amir Jordan, Drew Gulak, Jack Gallagher, Flash Morgan Webster, James Drake, Tyson T-Bone and Jordan Devlin. On the other side, you have Tucker, Joe Coffey, Dave Mastiff, Kenny Williams, Lugero, who's lost L out of his name for some strange reason. Um, Lugero. <laughs> he's just Lugero now. Uh, Travis <laughs> Ashton Smith and Joseph Connors. In my prediction of who's going to face who in the final, I, Travis Banks has got to be in the final from yeah, one half. Obviously, I, I, I think other, it's winning it for sure. The other side, I have mixed feelings. I know I saw you said Jordan Devlin on Twitter, Jack. Yeah. Uh, I have a feeling Zach Gibson. I don't know why. I just I, I might go with um, is is Gulag on the other side. Yes. yes. Malcolm Gulag to the final. Gulag and um Travis Banks. Mm. I think if you look at the if you look at the bracket, you will see I think uh Joe Coffey versus Dave Mastiff. Yeah, that's got I was that's thinking got like, that's to gotta happen. be that's gotta happen. That's got to happen too. Because they're both yeah. facing quite small guys. I know Kevin Williams, uh, Kenny Williams is quite a a flippy guy, if you will. Yeah. He? Who's um, um thingy facing coffee? Uh, Tucker. Exactly. No, no idea. No idea. Um, so, yeah, that's got to happen. Massive versus... Uh, um, cool you're definitely going to see Travis Banks, Joseph Connors. Yep. You can't have Joseph Connors mo- le- lose in the first round after getting a bit further in the last one. Um, I think you'll see Jordan Devlin versus Flash Morgan Webster. Potentially. Who is Flash Morgan? Oh, it's James Drake. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. um, obviously Drew Gulak I think could go quite far yep. but then do they want an American to get near the final I don't know I think I think he'll definitely beat Jack Gallagher um, who would he be facing if he won that if he won that it would be either Zach Gibson or Amir Jordan and I think Zach Gibson okay. will beat Amir Jordan Not but so sure again but again you could kind of see Drew Gulak being one of those where he takes the UK Championship to 205 Live and they have some matches on there for a while. You could have it as like guy the, wins the it mid cards. You could have it as like the mid card title there for a bit, couldn't you? Yeah, maybe you've got North American title. Yeah, 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 that's not a bad idea, actually. Yeah. You've got a North American title for NXT. You could always chuck, chuck a second title on Cruiserweight in 205. Because it doesn't I, seem I like don't know. this tag team one's going to happen. Yeah, is I don't it? know. They haven't got any, enough tag teams for it. Yeah. yeah, so I'm quite I'm quite looking forward to it to be honest. Um, I am still annoyed that the first round matches are going to be at Download Festival. Are they the all at Download? I have a feeling so. Maybe apart from Drew and Jack, because it will be on two or five live. I'd assume. Yeah. <coughs> well, 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 unfortunately, there's a hell of a lot of matches, and they're just not going to have time to show. Well, it's because instead of doing the tournament over two nights this time, they're doing yeah, it just, like on just on one Monday, night, and then the yeah. final, on the, Monday, the finals on the Tuesday. No, and then it's isn't not. Tuesday mainly. No, um, I think the final. Oh no, Pete Dunn, and so Pete Dunn versus whoever wins is on the Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So the final, the, the whole tournament is going to finish on the Monday. So the final match of that day will probably be whoever is in the final of the the tournament. Travis Banks and other. But they need, they need. If they're going to do it this way, they need to have some decent highlights package of the match. Would it all be on? Down. Would it all be on the? Uh, Network. Yeah. They might. They might do. They might put on the network. Um, I'm well, sure. The, the whole. The two nights are going to be on the network. I'd assume. Yeah. Because it, it was not. That's weird. a stupid thing. It's weird. The. I mean, they'll have to show some footage of it from NXT. Oh uh, no, from download. But I mean, I, I've seen footage of download. Uh, uh, NXT download. And the crowd is the the first three rows of smarts who love their wrestling come and see it. Never else are day trippers. So you're not going to get. The same sort of audience that you'd no. want. No, and it's, you're not going to get as exposed. They'll like, probably film it. There'll be there'll be like some highlights on. You know, yeah. so because I want to. Because if you look at the people who could go out, El Ligero, I want to see El Ligero on TV. Like yeah. Yeah. Right, or on the network. Or on the yeah, or on the network. I want to see Kenny Williams. I want to see Amy Jordan because apparently there's quite a bit of. Both. comments about him around yeah. that I've seen and I'm just like 
You cannot. No, it just frustrates me because I'd like to watch the whole of it. But I can see why they've done it to to entice the download crowd to go watch it. But it is a bit annoying. I think what they've done is they've made it more of a NXT two night. Yeah, because Tuesday's mainly Tuesday's mainly NXT, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I, so, I know, I've been to download, and I just wish that I was going to download a year that they fucking do NXT there. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I, I went 11, wow, 11 years ago. Wow. So much yeah. fun. My anyway. friends have been the last couple of years, and they said they went to NXT both times. They saw like Bobby Roode when he was a champion and stuff like that. Yes, that's like, true. That's cool, but again, yeah, I don't think it's got some go big guys going. Down. They got some big, they, like Ricochet's going, Dream's going. Trainer base is going. I think wow. all the main guys are going. All the main guys and gals. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Triple H normally turns up, doesn't he? Well, Trips turned up to receive an award for mo- about Motorhead, didn't he? Because obviously him and Lemmy were good, were good pals and stuff. Yeah. But um, no, no honestly, it, it's a new, oh, I can see why it's it's a new, it's a way to get new eyes on the product. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. um, what you want is because because there's a correlation between NXT and indie shows and heavy metal and rock fans. There, there, there's a correlation. So oh, it's I, like I can, progress, isn't it? Progress well, they yeah, call exactly. punk rock and wrestling. Exactly. There, there is a correlation between the two. So actually, it does make a lot of fucking sense. And yes. what a way to get people to turn up to make it mean something rather than just a house show and nothing fucking happens. You know what? I've actually convinced, I've just convinced myself now that it's actually a fucking genius idea. It's a get, genius idea. It's just what they do to the people who's not going... Like how they show yeah, it. I'm not being funny, but um, not that many people are going to be that in. With all due respect, not that many people are going to be that interested in the first round. In the first round of matches, they're not. I'm sorry, but I don't think they are. And and and, and, and they and they can use it as a way to get a whole thousands of people onto the uh, eyes of eyes onto the product, or hundreds even, or thousands. And go shit! I want to sort of NXT thing. Oh, I know wrestling sucks because it was you know it's for kids and stuff, but. That, I'm, I'm just playing devil's advocate as the person who doesn't yeah. like wrestling. And then going, oh, well, I'll go and watch it. You know, I've had a few beers. We'll see what goes on. Oh, shit, this is kind of cool. Fuck me, Ricochet just did that ridiculous thing. What, what is this? I love it. Give me more of it. Oh, the network's only nine ninety nine. Get me on the network. And, and go. It's free for a month if you sign up. You get free for a month if you sign yeah. up. Is it? It's the same week as Money in the Bank, is it, as well, isn't it? Yes. I think. It's the I week it is. Calf. It's next yeah, week or the week after download. I think it's the w- downloads the w- downloads and yeah ninth no, the ninth tenth is downloads and then the week after so yeah I it's, think the it's the same the so the Monday the Tuesday no it's the Monday Tuesday is the tournament and then the Sunday the Saturday Sunday is Chicago oh, there you go all oh, right okay lots of wrestling to behold can't wait <laughs> oh yes at least we can watch the UK Championship at a normal reasonable time like a normal human being. Yes, can't um, wait. Anything else? Undertaker's got Undertaker's got Instagram. Oh, that. We're talking about Kate Bay being dead. Undertaker's got Instagram, man. Yeah, because he totally runs his own social fucking media page, doesn't he? Um, Mark. Good old Mark. He's such a Mark Calloway, smart Calloway. Is there anything else? I don't think it's Honestly, because it's been such a mad week in wrestling, this is, this is actually a shorter podcast, a much shorter podcast than usual. Yeah, we keep getting these weeks where NXT and 205 Live take more of the time that we talk I about. I need to watch more. I don't go my way to watch NXT every week, and I really should. And the same with 205. Uh, with, with all the rev- the rave reviews that Jack and, and everyone else keep telling me about, go and fucking watch 205. I will do it. Yeah. And moment, I, look forward to, I definitely look forward to 205 Live more than Raw, any other, any other uh, WWE product at the moment. Wow, that is high praise. High praise indeed. And on that bombshell, um, I just want to thank, obviously, Matt, who was here earlier, uh, Chris and Jack for joining us. If you don't follow us on Twitter, please do. Jack likes to drop a, a, a few tweets every now and then. Jack likes to slide into your DM. We, very, very we are very, very close to 400 followers on there. Which, 400? Which is incredible. Fucking hell, we, we, we were close to 300 about a week ago. What have you done? It, it just I'm working on, working on my magic. We've got connections, is he? Yeah. yeah. 
People, That's people can't stay away from a charm. That's why. Mm. Mm. You're gonna but be yeah, nice we, not into DMs. Well, if we keep growing our Twitter, that'd be awesome. I, I want to thank, thank all of those guys who do listen and do follow us on the Twitter. Uh, also, thanks Jack for continually uploading live videos uh, with your reactions immediately in my, afterwards. In my car. In your car. No, no, no. It's a fair, fair play to you, man. That's, uh, that's dedication. It is dedication. Um, but again, yeah, keep dropping us likes, whatever, subscribes on the YouTube. We now are putting out the podcast back on YouTube, so please, comments with questions, all of that shindig. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to... I was going to comment on it, but I'm just I was. I think I was trying to say shiznit and just came up with shindig. I don't understand. Shiz, shiznit? What the yeah. hell is a shiznit? Fucking I'm, awesome. I'm, I'm gangster. Death by smoothly. <laughs> right, move on. Um, <laughs> right, bye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Give us five star ratings. I don't know why I'm doing that to the camera. No one's watching. Oh, I can see you. <laughs> High five, yeah? <laughs> yeah, five star ratings on um, <laughs> iTunes and I'm going to go before I make even more of a fool of myself thanks everybody <laughs> bye um, by the way it's at Bad Bookers WP by the way is the um... there you go no it's not yeah, yeah it's WP yeah, that, that, that's yeah. what we need to alright bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs>